Hey, this is Mark Frieden from Tulip. I'm the Lean Practice Lead here, and I wanted to share with you an example of an application that's a pretty general use case that would apply to a lot of different uh, businesses. And we're offering this for everybody who would want to use Tulip and get started with it. So a little bit first about the application and what the use case is. So the use case is that you have a manufacturing cell. Maybe it's an assembly cell, or maybe it's you know some sort of manual machining operation like a lathe. And what you want to do is you're going to pass work orders to this, this cell. And they're going to maybe have a backlog of orders they're going to work on. And they have an expected output target per hour and for the day. So what we want to do is we want to measure their output by the part number and, and against the expectations of that part number. So each hour we should be able to walk over that cell and see how they performed. But on top of that, we also care about you know, what status were they in? Were they in setup? Were they idle? Were they running? Maybe they were on break. Or perhaps they're actually down and they need support. And if they're down, we actually want to have, you know, a record of what causes them to be down. Because this is how we're going to drive improvement. So it's all a pretty common scenario. And this application is one that you can use just to start get started with that right away. So what I'll show you here is how it works. Um, basically what you have is this job queue. And this could be pulled from an ERP if you wanted. Um, in this case, this is hooked up to our work order tracking applications and, and all the applications we use in Tulip that you know, manage uh, our work orders as they move through our value streams. So you can use Tulip tables for that, and that's what we're doing here. You can add a job just by clicking this button and typing in a new job here and then creating it, or you could you know, pull from a different system. And you can also begin a job the same way. So you can hook a barcode scanner to this to have it initiate automatically, but this is um, a really simple way of doing it without any other tools. Um, and then over here, you can see we have our, our performance metrics. So you can see the number of hours we've been running, the downtime, the number of hours in downtime. And then we can see our output against our target, the number of defects uh, that we have logged for the day, as well as the OEE uh, factors, so our, our uptime, our yield, and our performance. And then here you can see details. Now you could put details, these are job details, but you could put in you know work instructions or anything else you want in here. In this case, we're keeping it pretty simple and straightforward for this use case. So to change your status as an associate, you know, this screen is going to be at their cell, maybe at the end of their cell. And changing a status should be really simple. They should be able to say, you know, we're running now. And then as simple as that, we're starting to log the fact that they're running. Or maybe they're idle. Or something of this nature. They can click on any of these and that will uh, contribute to their, you know, to their metrics. So you can look here at the hourly scorecard. You can see very clearly you know, that they have a target of 7 this hour and 17 last hour, and we don't have any output here. And then over here, you can see kind of a breakdown of what statuses we've been in for each uh, and for how long. So this hourly scorecard generates automatically. Maybe this is actually a separate screen. It's outside of your cell, or maybe it shows you a bunch of different cells. But in this case, it's just a quick way to show you how to create and get those metrics. And down here, there's no data available. That's going to be a defect Pareto or a Pareto of um, downtime reasons. So logging downtime is also really simple. Uh, what they would do is just press this down button, and they'd be prompted with a reason. So the reason here is going to be maybe uh, you know materials, oh, maybe a material. So I have a shortage. So missing part three or part four. So we'll log that downtime, and this is going to trigger another series of applications you could use. So maybe you have a mobile and on application that alerts the supervisor to say, oh, the cell is down and needs support, or something of this nature. So all these are connected and built in. We can also log parts here. So logging parts is quite simply just press this button, and you know, we can add five parts if we'd like. And what this is going to do is increase our output against our, against our target, and all these sorts of things. Our hourly scorecard will be adjusted. And you can have these parts be incremented by maybe a, a barcode scan or a button press, or maybe through you know, some other means, but in this case, just to show you how it functions, we just added a really simple log parts button. You can also log defects. So if you wanted to log defects here, you can say that maybe it's you know, the dimensions are, you know, the diameter is, is over the high limit, and maybe there's two of those. So we log that defect. And that's actually going to go into a defect repository. So you could have a, an MRB system now connected to that application, to that, that record, and you could be processing that through other, other functions. So that's how this system works. Uh, it's quite simple. You can have these uh, in a bunch of different cells, wherever you'd like them to be, and you know they just work right away. And you get to you know 
learn how some of the tables that we have function together and how the different applications can be used to extend your use case. Um, completing the job, uh, I can do that as well. What we'll do is we'll just complete the job. We can either move it to a different station or maybe just complete it entirely. In this case, maybe I'll move it uh, to station one. So we'll move it to that station and now it's gone. So really simple way of uh, passing orders between different cells and now I can take this job and maybe begin this one. So all of that happened uh, pretty, pretty easily and quickly and all this data is being tracked and you can use it to measure your performance. Maybe you want to improve your lead time or your, your yield or whatever, whatever KPI you're interested in, in targeting. All right, thank you.